more processors. Oculus Rift 3D Gaming Insanity. Dawn with Intel has given us much to consider. It may be a primitive time, but this Carib Gamer server is quite impressed. All right, Carib Gamer, it's your boy Ruskell. I'm here with Dan, the man for Intel. Everything about Intel, we're going to know everything right now. So what does Intel mean for gamers? It means that we provide the platform for them to game on. It's um, as game developers, uh, you know, develop uh, more intense, uh, more compute intensive games. Intel has the horsepower in their Core i7 processors to support that kind of uh, compute um, capabilities. I realize that all the games that are running in this Intel booth right now are running like smooth, like butter smooth. I touch Titanfall, run like a boss. The Oculus amazing I mean that's like next-gen stuff and I realize a lot of these computers aren't expensive or they need a lot of stuff to make them run and I'm guessing it's because of the Intel that has a lot to do with it yeah I mean it is the Intel processors you know we're very price competitive uh, from a performance standpoint you know um, price price per performance uh, you know we, we love gaming we understand the gaming community we understand what it is that they want in their computers and we, like I say, we provide the processors, and then it's companies like like ASUS and um, NCIT or NCXT, excuse me, and uh, you know Gigabyte. Those are the folks that actually make the components that use, you know, that, that use our processors. So it's it's a joint, you know, it's a joint effort by everybody. Well, right now I know we got Starcraft running back there, and I hear some guys shouting and screaming. Now I need to know what kind of game you like to play. Me personally? Yeah, you. I racing. Uh, I'm a I'm a longtime motorsports fan, and I can't afford to buy a old race car, <laughs> so I'm at home in my little racing rig, just racing against folks around the world. I also play a lot of first-person shooters, N not not online, oh, not online, not online too much because uh. I'm not that good, and every time I poke my head around the corner, I get a bullet in the head. So <laughs> yeah, I tend to play offline, but I do enjoy I do enjoy playing first-person shooters. You know, shooting things and blowing it up is nothing but fun. Man, see, and this is what I like about when people who, you know, build great architecture who are also gamers, because you guys understand gamers a little bit more better. So, I mean, we are in a, you know, Virgin Islands, and, you know, we have a lot of gamers who love to play those kind of games, and most guys who build these rigs use Intel. So, it, I know they're going to be awesome to see that there's somebody from Intel that knows the heart of the gamer. <laughs> well, you know, we just, re we announced on, uh, on Friday our latest um, desktop processor, um, the Intel uh, 5960X Extreme Edition. It's a new eight core processor. It's our first eight core processor. The virtual cores that can go up to 16 cores. Shut the it's front eight, door. It's eight physical cores and eight virtual cores. So you can go up to, with Turbo Booth technology, we've incorporated all of that. Excuse me, excuse me, I just jizzed my pants. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry. So it's one of the, uh, you know, this is one of the fastest desktop processors ever made. So we're very proud of, of that, just having launched that on Friday. So the 5960X Extreme Edition with the X99 uh, chipset. So if Gigabyte has some of those boards over in their booth, just the other side. You can go take a look at those. So you're saying I can buy one of these boards right now? Uh, I believe they're on the market, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right, Carib Gamer. You can have this awesome power in your desktop, and trust me, I might, might, I might well as well just get rid of my console and get PC. What do you say, Carib Gamer server? I think that sounds logical from all assessments. 5960 sounds Intel impressive. Okay, Don, what do you think about the Oculus technology? It's gonna, it's gonna change the gaming industry. I, I tell you, I cannot wait until these things get released so I can basically have one at home. I can use on iRacing. Um, it's, uh, it's amazing. You know, it's, you know, the only, I guess the only thing that, that I'm a little concerned about is with, with first person shooters, the, the few games that I've played, I kind of get a little disoriented. So I, I think they're working on, on that. But with, uh, with my racing games, works perfectly. The, at least the, the SDK kit one did. Um, I'm waiting for iRacing to get some things done with uh, the, SD, the second level, you know, beta kit. So I can um, can hook it up and and try it, but I'm i I think it's going to be a game changer. It it's so immersive. Immersive is just the one word that I can just describe Oculus. It's just so immersive, so in your face, and I, I love the third person view that he had in this game 
because it, it made Mario seem like like right there. Yeah, I know it, when it was really Mario, it was a different character, but yeah. my mindset this is like a Mario type game, but this was like much more better and much more different. And it's gonna be awesome when once they get everything released and all the game manufacturers start to program for for Oculus, it's gonna it's gonna change it's gonna change gaming. You know, and I mean, I'm sure that a core beast y'all got cooking up in the basement is going to run like a purring kitten. Well, That's going to be awesome. I don't know if you've seen, but we have that eight core beast running three 4K screens right here with Tomb Raider. You know, I got to go check you this out. Check it out, play it a little bit. It's awesome. All right. Well, I'm going to go over there and check it out right now. All right. Well, th good talking with you guys, and thanks for stopping by. All right. Take care. Carib Gamers coverage of the 2014 Fan Expo Canada is brought to you by RepVI.com.